So here's the second part of the question, and it reads, when you deliver an Atmos file to a client, can they preview it offline with some Atmos decoder, or do they need to wait until it's on Apple Music and turn Atmos on? Pretty much, yes. To get the real sound of what the end user is going to um, here and to really get um, the, the the true sound of Atmos that you're going to get from Apple Music, the best way to do that is to stream it. Once it's uploaded, stream it from Apple Music and actually reference it as the end user would. Um, there, there, there isn't necessarily, and maybe there should be, Apple should have a, a kind of a I don't know, maybe a maybe a, a part of a website that people can upload the file to, and then it would then hit their encoders, come back to you, and you could you could then listen to it in Atmos. That would be brilliant. Um, that would be really helpful. Um, the only other option is I can give you a MP4 uh, directly from the Dolby Atmos um, Master Suite. I can give you an MP4 as well as the M uh, ADM. You can then sideload that onto a um, an Apple uh, device, and then you can listen back to that uh, with a pair of AirPod Pro Maxes. I think it's only the AirPod Maxes you can use, and then you can stream that back. Um, how accurate it is compared to the um, what you're receiving, what you're actually hearing from. Um, from Apple Music, uh, I'm not too sure on that. But generally speaking, the best way to, to preview, to listen to what it actually sounds like 100% is once it's released and listening back to it there. Um, what I always send back to all of our clients is um, they obviously get the ADM. Now, the ADM can be used. Uh, that's your file that you would upload. So that's the file that's streaming back. Now, what you can do with that is you can load that into Logic uh, and then you can open it and monitor it back with binaural settings on. Or if you've got 5.1 or even if you've got Dolby Atmos, you can you can uh, play it back into that room. Um, if you've got by if you put if you've got stereo speakers, you can put binaural on and monitor it in binaural, which will give you a binaural stereo print of it. What I will always do as well is I will always print a binaural stereo. Now, the binaural stereo is basically a simulation of Dolby Atmos. It isn't Dolby Atmos. It isn't, it isn't technically going to give you the full effect of things around you. Um, it's not going to give you that. But what it is going to give you is a simulation of the, the Dolby Atmos sound in stereo format. And basically that stereo format, you can then stream that back. You can listen to that back and you can get a really good sense of whether the mix uh, needs editing, needs an edit or, or whatever. You can you can listen to it and you can understand it and you can you can get a real grasp on what it sounds like in stereo. Um, as we progress as an industry, more and more people will have Atmos Studios. It will become more standard. We will also, as an industry, have uh, everyone will have like there will be at some point. Uh, I mean, I've got at home a Dolby Atmos TV, so I can I can kind of reference certain things on on my TV at home and soundbar and things, um, and it sounds brilliant. And the translation is brilliant to that. What will happen is that will be standard. Everybody will have that in their TVs going forward. It will just be like a the, the standard format that's built into TVs. Um, so. You'll also have small devices, which will be Dolby Atmos. You'll have like little um, Amazon Alexas and things like that. This is obviously going forward into the future kind of thing. Um, and you'll be able to reference um, using these sorts of um, devices. Um, but at the moment, um, listening back, you just listen back in binaural stereo. It gives you a really good idea of what it's going to sound like. And then... It's nice for you as well, as you know. You can listen to the um, 
listen to the once your release comes out you can then sit down and actually listen to your your master the actual file coming back on uh, apple music or tidal or amazon listen to it back on one of those platforms and and basically then it hits their decoders it then comes back to you uh sounding in atmos how it's intended to sound to the end user um for us we can monitor it and listen to it in this room which kind of gives us it gives us a 100 accurate kind of sound on what what it's going to sound like because this is if this is the problem that a lot of people have when you've got other people who do atmos rooms who have got an atmos room and they kind of haven't done it to spec and it's not quite right and it's still a little bit of guesswork for them because they don't actually technically know what it's going to sound like once it gets on. That's why it's so important to have one of these kind of fully calibrated rooms uh, that have like Trinovs in them and Dolby have been down to, to check it over and kind of giving it the thumbs up. And it's very important. Uh, so if you are working with a Dolby Atmos engineer, make sure they're, you know, in a decent room, not just a room with... Um, you know, speakers, one there, one there, one there, and, you know, one there, and they're not calibrated the distances away and things like that, and they haven't got a trin of, and it's not, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a minefield when it's done badly. If it's done right, like it is in this room, you'll get a perfect translation, and it will sound brilliant in here, which means it will sound brilliant everywhere else, uh, especially coming back off iTunes. Um, so, yeah. If you want to 100% hear your music back as the end user would listen to their music back, then you need to be listening to it directly off of Amazon Music. If, however, you want, I can send an MP4 file. The MP4 will then be able to be side-loaded onto your um, iPhone or something like that, then played back from the file manager. I think you've got to play it back from the file manager, and then you need a pair of these headphones um, to then reference it. And that's why I've got these, because every every uh, time I print a um, the final copy... Ooh, where's the hook? print the final copy i then reference it with with those headphones so i can then reference a uh, kind of 100 percent correct uh i know the room's correct and i know <coughs> it's sounding great in those headphones as well um also then we've got the binaural file that we will send every client the binaural file is if you don't have those headphones you don't have an atmos setup you don't have anything atmos related you can then get like a 95 percent accurate kind of stereo image that gives you that perception of sound around you um and around the front of you and over the top of you and it gives you a kind of a a, a general idea of what that's going to sound like um and that sounds brilliant and um i i can i can literally stand in this room and fold it down to stereos like literally go from dolby atmos to stereo and the fold down to stereo you get the the way it sounds is like the room's like here, all around you here, and then the fold down stereo goes there, but you can still, it's its like that whole mix just kind of just comes out of those speakers. You can, you can really feel that fold down really well. And the translation from Dolby Atmos to stereo using binaural is brilliant. Um, so much so that what we do here is we create stereo mixes in Dolby Atmos. So we mix in Dolby Atmos, fold down to stereo, then we have the stereo mix, and then the stereo mix is taken through for stereo mastering. Uh, so that way, all mixing services, even if you don't require the Dolby Atmos mastery, you don't want to put out Dolby Atmos, you still get the benefit of the spacing and the width and the depth and the clarity that you achieve from Dolby Atmos, but you achieve that in stereo. And believe me, the, the comparison between stereo mixed in stereo compared to Dolby Atmos folded down to stereo, the two the, is ridiculously different. Like, one like it makes stereo sound really really poor it makes and that's even the best mixes in stereo um they do not compare to a dolby atmos stereo binaural uh mix um it's different class so um yeah i hope that answers your question um yeah let's move on to the next question <laughs> 